Proceed. All right, guys. Welcome to Type Shit Podcast. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm recording. This guy. You can do it. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, everybody. Today we're going to talk about. <laughs> man, we got a whole bunch, man. Right. It's a mini show today. Man, we just. Man. We're just trying to prep y'all because y'all know Sunday we are live and in the flesh at Northside Facts. Tavern. Yeah, man. So if Facts. you are available, I don't give a fuck if you're not available, get available and get there. Facts. Period. Yeah, man. Period. Come down. And the show starts at? 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock? Till, till 7 is time. I'm going to fly. Until yeah, 7. It's so until 4 7. to 7. So yeah, get three there. Three hours, man. Three get hours get with there. your favorite people. Stay there. You know what I'm saying? We out there. Yeah, oh yeah, and, and my um, and my uh, my photo guy coming through, man. He, he got to work until about it's about five thirty. So he probably won't be there till six. Your like, brother? Nah, nah, okay. No, nah, oh nah, 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 nah. Yeah, I will be giving, and I will be giving um energy readings. <laughs> hey man, go ahead and let her read your energy. <laughs> I will. I'll be giving energy readings. Um, That's gonna be interesting. It's yeah. gonna be fun. So come get your energy read. Hey man. I'm gonna be handing out shots. Just a few though. These gonna be buying like shots. So if you wanna get fucked up on oh, Sunday I, I, before you gotta I, I, go back I, I, to work on a Monday, how you so pass up get some free shots? shots. Right. Yeah. And how do you pass up on a free energy? Do you know how much people charge for that? It's tight, right? You know what I'm saying? No doubt. No. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> like, I mean, you shoot for real for real. I ain't gonna purge, but I might not be balling like that, so I might have a bottle in the car. And the car, <laughs> car, and the 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 car, and I, man, it's been hella stuff happening, man. I got I got a gang of topics. We can just pick one. We ain't got much time, but uh, All right, pick one. we're gonna do Jay Z and and uh, the NFL. <sighs> or they offered. The, I heard that they offered the job to Jermaine Dupri first. Jay Z told him like, Nah, bro, don't do that. Are you lying? And then he went, No, I'm not. I, I heard, heard, heard about that. Jermaine Dupri. Heard about that? Cause you know he was involved. Know he was involved with the uh, with the uh, um, Super Bowl. Oh, for the for the yeah, because it was in Atlanta. Because ever since Janet mm-hmm. put her nipple well, out, I don't know, man. He, was, he had to be in control of that shit. Jay Z is a dirty <laughs> motherfucker, bro. <laughs> man, you know what, man? It's business. He ain't man. my guy. It's business, what? man. What? No, 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 no. So like, look, it's business, man. Right? Like, so you feel like it was a not a smart move on his part? I feel like it's a business move. But that's dirty, bro. But it's like this. Who's equipped to have? Who's equipped to bring more? Like more of a positive outcome. Bro, who is he to say? Jay or Jermaine Dupree? But who is he to go? Bro, he was telling. He told Travis Scott. He told Jermaine Dupree. Like, don't even, don't even mess with the NFL. Ain't we supposed to be boycotting? Anyway, you know, he was telling, you know what? The, uh, bro, you out here talking about let's boycott, man. And then you go behind the guy who they offered the job to, and it's like, bro, you shouldn't mess with him. I'm more. I know, man. Jay Z got hired to handle niggas in the league. We know we know they really respect you and like you. They bought all your albums. Uh, chicka chicka, that's my that's my favorite one. Uh, we want to come over and uh, manhandle these niggas, man, because they won't listen to us. Like, can you can you kind of soften the blow? I have a question for you. So, does 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 something like that not deem like a good position to make motherfuckers listen to certain exactly. things? Exactly. How can you you can't you can't even you what what is uh. Troy said, you can't hang from inside the club. Or what did Chris say? You can't hang from outside the club. You, you can't, can't even get, get in. in. Period. So if you're not in position to make a change, then all you're doing is being a What happened spectator. to the boycott? You're a spectator. Boycott so, so, didn't get us nothing. So, we didn't give a fuck about okay. that. If we but, not tuning but, in. But, but, okay. But you so how do you know the boycott wasn't the move to have them even offer the position to Jay-Z? Jay-Z is not a dumb motherfucker. If he's making a power move like that, there's some type of plan behind it. Right. That's a plan that's going to benefit be. the black culture in a sense overall. Motherfuckers might not be able to see the bigger picture now, but it's like you don't know what that way. you don't know what his plan is. This nigga made an album called Blueprint. Do you think he's just not going to be making sense with his moves? No. How many blueprints was there? I don't know three. Okay, was it? Man, what you feel yeah. about this dude yeah. signing a contract? <laughs> Man, look, I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think there's anything exactly wrong with it. Only because I haven't saw it to its end, and it, it, and with a situation like that, man, like I know, like Jay Z has the image. You talking about Jermaine Dupri? Jermaine Dupri does not have the image for 
for, for black he's, he, 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 he's, he's not but having who not, is Jay Z oh, to go oh, 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 look, look, Jay <laughs> Jay is not a businessman he's a businessman business man. you know what I'm saying come on can bro I say you got man yeah 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 can yeah. I say something yeah Jay Z's prenup bro Jay Z's prenup with Beyonce this is how I read I mean, it that's how one. reportedly he signed a prenup that gives Beyonce, $5 million for each child they have together. The prenup also stipulates that Beyonce will receive $10 million if the marriage ended before two years and $1 million a year for every year they remain together up until 15 years. How many years have they been together? I don't know, man, but did Jay-Z buy Beyonce? Is she under contract? That's the thing about marriage, bro. You're not, man. You can't, you can't, man. You can't license my love, bro. So, look, man. What? You, you do, you do, you do. I think she, I think beyond, I think Jay Z did what he, I think, no, that's not, what? No. So, I wait, think man. that's protecting his assets at the end of the day. Yeah. Because I mean, it's like if he signed a prenup saying, like, this is what you get, then, then therefore, if the marriage did work, because they already signed this, then she can't ask for no extra shit, right? Unless they, unless they renegotiate, man. I, I mean, but is that? I don't, I don't think it's man, that's a big prenup, bro. I don't. I wish somebody. Wait a minute. So, uh, when you got a relationship like that, how does? Like, and she had twins. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Bad. I was thinking for Sean Paul. I was fucking him. Recording. I don't. But that's the. Love, though. I don't think. I don't think. Jay Z and Beyonce gonna ever Man, I, I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I think I think I think for what Jay Z stands for, man. <laughs> that has been standing for him to this point. I think I think that what um oh, a piece of shit. what uh I mean he, he already he already in the basketball. You know what I'm saying? You talking about Rock Nation, you talking about you talking about a lot of things, man. I th- I think that um I think that, that makes leverage um for 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 a culture activity to happen with right. with, with let's say well let's say so from anybody else I, I think right. I think I think if I, th- I think I think with Jay in this position there won't be another Colin Kaepernick situation so you so, think so. that Jay Z can go to the NFL a per a business that's been running the way it's been running for forever that make you say the uh the national anthem before you think they're gonna let Jay Z come in and be like hold up wait because I have a question so what exactly did he do. Just so I can clarify before I ask Okay, this. he took a position. As? He's, uh, man, let me look it up so we can, we can quote it, man. If y'all can beat me to it. I'm on mine. <laughs> but, uh, I might be able to. Yeah, man. There we go. Colin Kaepernick reacts to Jay-Z in that field deal. Uh, it's a lot of celebrities too, like, man. Jay-Z, scat. Scat. Hold up. Man, Last what? week, we discussed Jay-Z. Jay, Jay gonna drop one record about it. He gonna, he gonna drop one record. He gonna say nothing about the whole time. Might say something like the third verse. Be like, first thing, this shit from Jermaine Dupree. Some, some. I told you what it ain't a thing. You ain't popping like I'm popping no more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, oh, that's, 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 a, that's a picture. It's almost a picture. I wanna, wanna okay, there we go. I believe he like, he over the music portion and uh, race. He's actually over race relations. So. Oh, okay. Who better to have in that position than him? Who better of a face to have it in there? Like, I can control niggas. They buy my albums. Man, hey, okay, man. No. I mean, like, that's, that's, that's the most negative way to go about so it. So he has like, you, he, you, he, 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 But we like, coming from a boycott that people never see. boycotted. So why would We ain't even supposed to be watching so, that shit. So, so think, think about it like this, bro. Think about it like this. Wait, if, so he wanted if, to if, part if, of if, shit. on the NFL shit on some of that, I'll probably I'll probably I'll probably do the exact same thing. Because my thing is this. If all the niggas in the NFL, all the people do this shit in the NFL, what we gonna do? We gonna be you gonna be fucked up. If if everybody in the NFL just said fuck y'all, fuck all my contracts, fuck all this, I'm done. And didn't go back, what do you think would happen to the game? Period. It'd be fucked off. So so my thing is this, well look, well look, if we can get somebody to harness y'all before y'all all start doing this Colin Kaepernick shit. That's what that's what it is. Okay. We know you can control niggas. So come here, bro. Because these so, motherfuckers, if they start, if they start using their mind and say, what if we just disengage from the oppressor and then we just start a Negro league again, what would happen? Huh? My great great grandkids would be fucked over. Like, <laughs> like, like so okay, so with that being said, with that being said, I ain't gonna lie, 
I think Jay Z is for us, man. I ain't gonna lie, I do. I truthfully do. So with that being said, to have some of that call you in hopeful, position, bro. Hey, man. You me, bro. Look, man. Look, look, man. I, I, I fuck with ho, man. Like, I think, I think that, uh, I think, I think, I think he is a businessman. I also think that he made the situation lucrative for him, no doubt, hundred percent. But I do think that, I do think that if anybody, if anybody's gonna stand up for something that goes wrong, I would see Jay doing it before anybody else. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. You think you got anything? You think you got the culture's back? He got the culture's back. He, he may not have maybe thirty years ago, mm-hmm. but I think he got the culture's back now. You gotta remember, man. I feel like Jay Z was a guy who didn't get many women. They always say he's like a camel. Niggas like that never forget shit like that. They they live their life out through that. They like now that I got power, <laughs> I am about to take the biggest squat upon niggas that they have ever felt. It's gonna be warm. It ain't even gonna be a long. It's just gonna be soupy too. It's gonna be. Oh my god! I've been waiting to take this shit. You know when you've been holding this shit and your stomach start bubbling, it sound like you dragging a garbage can on the He said, um, "I'm really into action and I'm into real work." I'm not into how it looks. How it looks only lasts for a couple months until we start doing the work. I've been in this position many times. Take title as a great example from five years ago. Now people look at it today. People have a different outlook on it. But at the time, people didn't see what was going on. So I've been in this position many times. I just show up and do the work. I'm not interested in how things look on the outside. Right. If protesting right, on the field. Fuck what you think about me getting this bag. If name. protesting on the field is the most effective way, then protest on the field. But if you have a vehicle that you can inspire change and you can speak mm. to the masses and educate at the same time. If I can shit on all of y'all at the same time. That's not what he's football. trying to do. Same so like, man. But then it's like this too. So is he, does he have part ownership in it? He's going to be... And now he, he, they say he's going to be a, a majority owner. Right. The so then look at this. Owner. So if he's a majority owner, he has say-so on how shit goes. Mm-hmm. If you have say-so on how shit goes. No, you don't. Yes, you do. If the you, owner if, of the team have to follow of, the rules of the NFL. Any part of ownership into a company, you they can't vote on anything without without everybody being and agree upon it, right? And present, so they can't make a change without him. Being the only present. way we can keep these niggas under control is if we we gotta at least give him a team or something. That way, mm. he won't move. He's solidified. He, I think we can trust him. Eagles. I feel like Jay Z is Steven off Django right now. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I feel like he about to pull a jack. This motherfucking sorry. jack move. I'm hey, so. <laughs> Hey, man. bro. Shout out, Jay, man. That, 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 I think it's lit. Man, you don't go from this is le- this is like maybe a year, maybe less than a year that you went from like we boycott. So it's just like, yes, sir, I will take the job. <laughs> he even let Robert Goodell touch his uh, touch his thigh. Man, don't even have thigh. What? Ooh, what? During the, during the uh, press conference, look at it. I feel like he's doing Robert Goodell touch his thigh, man. Hey, we might throw some extra money in there. You're doing such a good job. I feel like it's a good move as a culture. Like they said, you might not understand it. This could go back to what the conversation motherfuckers was talking about. Like, motherfuckers, everybody around may not see the bigger picture. Mm-hmm. So that's where it comes into trust. And then it's like, we as a culture, motherfuckers be doing, motherfuckers that have all the trust and, and, and be on somebody's ass, like, be on a dick. And then as soon as one thing happened that, they don't agree with or they don't even understand all the way they just turn their backs completely like and that's crazy to me yeah. like now motherfuckers fuck Jay-Z nigga you don't even know what the goal or overall plan is here right. like you Let's just see said, what he gonna do right like yeah if you've had trust in him all these years and you ran Jay-Z to go to the live bro y'all hear that out bro that nigga said blah, blah. but now he make one move oh, I know he told Nas was, that he pissed oh. in his baby seat Okay. I, I pay know. attention to stuff like that. Man. He did. Okay. I mean, I mean, apparently Jay Monson uh, apologized about that shit. Apparently, uh, apparently that was the transgression of the man. I thought that was pretty wild. That's extremely disrespectful. Jay Z been disrespecting niggas. Jay Z I mean, was beef. Wrong on that too. Right. Who's beef? And that's Come on, man. Man. Hey, I, man, just, it's, I feel like it's, it's a smart really ass bad. move. To me, that's a live ass smart ass move. Like. You can't like 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 you said. How the fuck if protesting on the field is gonna work? Them niggas is still hosting games. They don't give a fuck about you protesting. You could go to the fucking field and hold up fifty thousand Kaepernick signs. Motherfuckers is gonna walk right around you and go sit in that seat. 
So it doesn't matter. But in the grand scheme of everything, like, if you play for the NFL, they like, man, you better stand for the national anthem. We know the words. We know the words, but say them. Pledge allegiance to us. If you get a chance to, it's almost like a free meat issue. It's like you're a billionaire. He's smart enough to know, like, man, hold up. Now, if I get with the top, he, he's pushing entrepreneurship and ownership right now. Yeah. Why would Jay Z not? He's too smart to, to have been like, nah, that ain't the plan though. Like, maybe he's getting the bag now to do that. And that would that would be the only thing I would see honorable about what he's doing. But like, that he has enough money and he knows enough people with money where they can totally, we can start disengaging from stuff. Like, and growing our villages. Like, I don't feel like it's, I don't feel like it's personal enough to disengage. Motherfuckers be like mad, mad about mad, shit. Not like, enough niggas gonna, gonna go with me, so fuck it. Like, I, I'm looking at it from a different lens. Man, I feel like this well. is, I feel like, oh, like he man. said, like he said, you show up and you do the work. He said, I don't give a fuck how this shit look. I'm doing the work. You can say what the fuck you want to say. I know you don't understand it right now, mm -hmm. but my vision is this. Like, you're not going to see this shit, and that's fine. Yeah. You don't have to see it. But five years from now, when the NFL looks completely fucking different and we have a voice, just say thank you. Like, or don't say thank you, but I know I'm doing what you know. They're gonna turn on the NFL. Like I don't know. I think it's crazy because I think we as a community be so quick to say we need to do this, but then motherfuckers don't have no plan. Motherfuckers don't have all they do is complain. That's another one of them talking about solution problems without no solution. Like y'all rather focus on it'd be small solutions that would have big impacts. Like like what disengaging from Gucci. If you see the disrespect is coming from Gucci, why would you Not buy that? People was like, is it over yet? Because I, nigga, I got to get fly, bro. Like, <laughs> fuck what they feel about my lineage, nigga. I got to be fly. Like, and why, <laughs> why, why is our flyness predicated off of what they think is fly? How come, how come niggas can't just be like, man, you know what? I'm going to just fuck Gucci, man. Dashikis. Dashikis, that's all I'm rocking. We up. had that era. Why is it an era though? That ain't no era. That's a, Lenny. That's that's culture. We had an era. <laughs> we had an era. Well, because it was like, like, was like rocking culture, dashikis, man. but fashion. I think fashion is some, it's a little different than this. I don't think you can really put this in the same category as fashion because you fashion have the changes option to anyway. wear Gucci, which is overpriced, and they disrespect you in your face, or you could just be like, man. Lacoste, man. I'm just rock Lacoste. Like, I like alligators. Like, yeah, I love alligators. But, yeah, cool. man, we women, we in love with our oppressors, bro. Like, we want the approval so much that we right. just, like, we never be like, like the one day Massa gonna love me. I know it. I know it. I'm, a, I'm just like, I know I can be a good enough boy to just, like, man, he that's gonna love me one day. Down you got some Stockholm Syndrome? Type shit. Type that's shit. It's like, down through, into our lineage. That's why we got it. That's why we gotta disengage and figure us out as a village. Like, but see, that's the thing. Do we want to disengage and figure us out as a village, or do we want that connectedness? We keep screaming. We want to. They be, want it so bad. That we want to be connected. What the is saying? You're not including me in this. I want to be included. I want to be included. But then it's like I don't want to be. But then we and have. They're to telling have you like, we don't want you. Wait, this ain't you. Like, it's, no, I feel like what the is saying like include me, include me. But then. It's like, no, nah, I don't I want to I want my own shit. So, do you want to be included? So, and that's what Jay-Z is trying to do. He's trying to make sure we're all included. This is he's trying to bridge the gap so that it is inclusive for the culture. So, it's they can see like, bro, when you do this, cuz a lot of that shit is ignorance. That shit is ignorance, fear-based and ignorance. It's like that hurts your feelings. People, your Why? Like, what the fuck is she ain't? Well, go ahead. <laughs> it's like fear-based <laughs> ignorance, like Oh, I'm hurting your feelings because I'm telling you to say the national anthem. Like, I'm not I know it talks you. about owning slaves. And but like, this is I mean, it's pretty much. And I'm, I'm not owning. hanging you from a tree. So what the fuck? You but should be like, happy. I'm not hanging you from a tree. I'm gonna like, shoot you in your ass. Though. It's like again, like Eric Garner, I see this every day. Yeah. I, I see this in my fired. in my workplace every day with a lot of our teachers that come into the building. They were not raised around African American children, especially in poverty. So they don't understand. They don't understand the culture. It's like a culture thing. I don't understand why you're saying, bruh, and then We don't understand ourselves as a culture, so we need to pull back. Mm -hmm. Understand ourselves. This is nothing that Korean people haven't done. This is nothing that 
the Italians haven't done. People, they have a relationship amongst each other instead of always trying to like, like what if everybody was just like, man, everybody was getting surgery on their eyes a little like this, like, man, I'm going to be Chinese one day. Like, I swear to God, bro, the Chinese people going to be like, oh, damn, we killing it, bro. Like, that's what it looked like right now. But we're just doing it like with white influence. But if Captain's just like, bro, when I, when I step out and this motherfucker and these motherfucking the, toe, the, the shoes and scratch your toes up like a little Chinese, but they're going to be like, man, I'm Chinese. Bro. They're going to think I'm Chinese. Like I want that acceptance. Why do we want acceptance from people who don't who don't care for it so much? Because it's why do we place our acceptance value from an oppressor, and, right. and, and and people feel like we've been oppressed. So it's like that, like you said, that Stockholm syndrome. Like it's like the same. We have a parent that's abusive. But that child still that? wants that love from that parent, like because that's that. There's a form of not being accepted there. Like you want to be though. accepted. Okay, but it's like there's that's just an example. You still want to be accepted. You want to be accepted. I just feel like this, and that's what we're like keeping he, us he's back because we want to be so accepted so bad. We spend our capital on trying to be accepted, and then we like I you just live like somewhere that you don't want to live or need to live. It's like, bro, you took that money. If all the drug dealers in the T put their money together. And went and just bought like some houses or some shit. Oh, that's the Jay Z was saying on the last album. No doubt, no doubt. Right. I feel you. <laughs> that was a good one. He's like, yeah, man, if I do good shit, then I can do extra dirty shit. Like, no. Oh, I mean, you just think he on some scheme. You think it's about the bag. You think everything is about a bag, Blaze. It is all about the bag. I think. It's not. No, I, feel I, just, like I just don't think it's about the bag for who, though? I feel like. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like there like, <laughs> you go. Hey. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's about ooh, growth ooh, and ooh. evolution for our people because we have been. Um, I don't want to use the word sleep, but we have been unconscious for so long. We have just been like stuck, mentally stuck for so long, and I think he's like, I want to see us evolve. But again, how the fuck can he make a change if he's not? Niggas inside? don't want to change. Niggas want to work. You can't Jordan. change shit from outside of nowhere. That's if you want to cut the light off in here, you can't do that shit from out there. You have to be inside to cut the light off. It don't matter how many, how long you stand at that fucking window and scream, "Cut the light off! Cut the fucking light off!" Unless you're in here, you cannot cut the light off. Like it doesn't matter. Like you, you can't do shit from out there. But Jay Z ain't our. He's not like. He's not my god or my leader either. It's just like it's, I don't no, understand. I, that's, that's the thing, man. Like I don't understand. Like right. why is the success on that side of the fence? You saying he need to start his own NFL company? I think he definitely got the mind. You have a you got access to all these players because you got an agency too. You have access to all these players. Get and, and your your goal is to max their contract out. So if you got some max players, you like bro. Like, cause when? How do you stop it? Cause again, that's why I said there's that piece of do I want to be connected? Cause we scream, we want to be, con- we want to be, be, we want to be, a, we want to be. I want to sit on that what is porch the word and eat watermelon. I just want to sit on the porch once and eat watermelon. I'll be looking up there like, dang, that watermelon looks good. But that's what I'm saying. Like we we scream, we want equality. We scream, we want to be. I want equality. I want shit to be equal. I want us to all. We all need to be. It's our country too. Like blah 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 blah. Like so. I heard. They, I heard this white doctor say, and we our cameraman is white, but this is like this is still real no, shit. No. <laughs> I heard this doctor say. Oh, he's a white guy. He was like, I think black people are the strongest people on earth because there's no way that white people would ever put up with that from y'all. We would have been revolted, but. We we don't take control of the stuff. We we way more empowered than we act or we think. Our dollar makes stuff move. We invest in everything except for ourselves, man. But cats don't want to grow. It seems like it seems like they're just like, man, no, I gotta have these J's because how else am I gonna get that pussy? I mean, <laughs> it's, it's almost it's almost like it's like you know we kind of in, a, in a, like a insecure state, man. That's all I'm hearing. Almost. That's like, and we get a super all like. I'm Victim based state. It's like, yes. man, we so good at articulating how we getting fucked over. It's just like, bruh, how about you stop giving your money to, like, bruh? But that hasn't, do you think that, that, that's, I said, will that really matter? 
bro, if you had a store, that's why I said though, motherfuckers claim they, they OS, want they, it, they want much. equality. That's what I'm saying. Motherfuckers say I want equality. I want to be accepted. They doing our players dirty. If he didn't want it, he shouldn't have had to stand. Okay, so now you got a voice in there explaining why. Like I was saying about our teachers, I have white teachers in my building, and I'm like, it's not that you are purposely trying to disrespect this African American child. It's that you don't understand the culture. So because you don't understand, you can't relate. So then you have to have somebody that can come in and say, hey, this is why this child does this. And when you say this, this makes this child feel like this. Then it's relate, more relatable. Like, oh, shit. It's cultural awareness. So, and I think that's what he's trying to do is bring that cultural awareness. He has a voice that matters. You think that, if they, you think that they don't know that shooting somebody who wasn't armed is wrong? He's not talking. Well, he is doing That was the original issue. That's it. Keep getting too, it. Keep getting like pushed, but you know that that meme of like Homer Simpson falling into the bushes. The bush? It keep getting yeah. pushed deeper into the, like it's like Cash is like, yeah, man, they were supposed to get new seats. I ain't watching it either. It's like, bro, what? Like, what are you talking about? This is a bad episode. Of, like the phone game is getting the message is getting fucked up. Dexter Wise said people worried about the wrong thing. The sixth angel already sounded the trumpet. Revelation sixteen chapter twelve okay. verse: The river of Euphrates is drying up. Okay, Dexter, I hear you. I hear you. I I don't know. Pass that play around, bro. <laughs> oh. I just Did feel like program. I don't know. I just feel like action is the only thing. Dexter, did you hear the bell? Did you hear the trumpet? I'm not being funny. Knowledge without fast. works is dead. That's what Jay Z said in the work. And I'm doing the work. <laughs> Wait till you see, man. Wait till you see this boo boo. <laughs> uh, I think we about to have to get up out of here, man. I just feel like it's. I think we should just see what happens. Look and see what happens. Yeah. It's, it's what, what can something worse happen? It's <laughs> a good question. What folks already getting shit on? So you got a nigga in there that's trying to make moves, that's trying to do changes. Get shit on more, still shit. What do you mean? It doesn't matter. So I feel like you should, we should just watch and see. Again, motherfuckers like, standing all me, outside like, oh, y'all need to do this, this, this. You're not in here doing shit with me, though. Like, it's like, I, like, invite Jay- us through, bro. It's invite like, us through, Jalen. He should have had a meeting with all the black people. I'm like, so how y'all, what y'all think I should do? Probably, probably but, did. But with, with, this probably is had, the thing, too. He had a meeting with Clearly, Robert so look at Jay-Z. Look at his spinning yeah, power. Look at his, look at where he's at. I can't sit down with motherfuckers and this is no disrespect but I can't sit down with people that live in subsidized housing and talk about how the fuck I'm about to buy this mansion right because they're clearly not on the same page as me so if he is he's up up here he clearly has he can sit down at the table with niggas because they're eating the same shit you can't be eating a can of pork and beans and wieners and you got niggas over here eating caviar you trying to have a conversation you're not respecting so it's like he has money. He can have a. He got money. He knows y'all don't really have power to do anything anyway. Y'all don't have the money to do shit. I do. So let me get in there and do what the fuck I have to do. All the money. Turkey dog or beef dog. Right. Like, bro, bro. like <laughs> if everybody in Avondale stops giving their money to certain businesses, they'll but feel it you know what? People in Avondale are not going to do that because it's convenient for them, and that's the money that they have. Niggas in Avondale have them don't have cars. Do so because so family said, dollars do the right work, here, but they have not... to go to family dollar. They can't, what you, they're going to get on the bus, ride the metro to somewhere else. And like, the resources aren't in our community. It's not going to be comfortable at first. It. It's not going to be comfortable at first. It's going to be, dang, so what do we do now? But we want, we want an outcome so bad. We want to not be disrespected forever. Like it seems like it's going to happen. We need to start disengaging. Ain't going to be comfortable at first. But Keisha over there, she made clothes because she got the clothing line. That's how we want to stay clothed. And uh, Bambina, she made food. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to get fed like so, that. So where's okay. the materials coming to do that? So Keisha has the clothing line, but in order to feed the whole it's order an African to dude clothe, named shut up. <laughs> in order to clothe the whole community, she gotta have enough thread, enough fabric, enough material to be able to clothe everybody. The resources aren't there in the beginning. Man. He has the resources. Haiti beat the French on, with calling on the 
the ancestors. It's the same energy that goes into like, I don't want to work this job no more. So I'm gonna step out on faith that I'm that the universe is gonna protect mm-hmm. me Facts. and wanting to do this Facts. because we want it with our whole heart. Facts. Where two or more are gathered. If it's, if we gather as a whole village of black people and with that energy, Facts. and we all like, no, this is about to happen. But it's gonna get uncomfortable. I hear that. Facts. People, but we're can't. not because I hear what you're saying, but. We not there. The okay, the community's yeah. not hey. there because let, let me tell you this. Years mentally, hey. guess what? Mentally, when you're in a survival state, you cannot think logically. The prefrontal cortex is the part of your brain that processes knowledge. The amygdala is the part that Fire deals flight. with stress. That's the flight, That's hard, fear, too. or freeze response. You think so it's not systematic a, to have people? We want to keep them at that base level mindset because we know that if they have to worry about food, clothing, and shelter, then they won't be able to. Right. Yeah, I do. So listen up. But if you're in that response, the amygdala is taking taking over. They, you can't even. He knows, Jay Z know, bro. I can't have a conversation with you because you're worried about paying your rent. So it's 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 kind of pointless. I can't have a conversation with the whole community because they're worried about. Where they next? Dollar is coming from the feed. They family. That's their first thing. Survival. They're in a survival state. I'm not because I'm comfortable enough if you to go ask in Jay-Z, here and sit down and do this. If you ask Jay Z, like, what if you got down to your last hundred? What would you do? He'd probably be like, I would stop all my vices. I would. I wouldn't spend money on. You know how? Don't buy a mile for a, a week and see how much money you save. Like me, don't buy peanut butter. Like if we stop spending our money on stuff that don't need it, that's just like. That's just money, money minded type stuff. Like, and I think he's doing that. He's he's cut he's off giving all... us that knowledge in the music, which is what we are the most. Which is what and he has the blueprints. He kind of was. He, I mean, he was laying down blueprints, right? But and everything his and he's like over he the likes... music in the NFL. He's got he's over music relations, police brutality relations. <laughs> um, so it's like he's put himself in a position to be able to make those moves, and it makes me sad that. We like how long is it gonna take? How just long is it gonna take? Jay, even though Jay Z is pushing for a certain thing, that don't mean that you just wait. So you gonna save us, Jay? Like, no, it's nigga. It's not about saving. It's about that support. All right, we got a nigga. Okay, Jay Z is over there working, so I'm gonna do my part. Right? How can I? How can? Right. I, That's what we should be doing. But niggas right. ain't saying. All right, how can I help? Niggas are saying this cool ass nigga. He done fucking turned his back on us as a community. Like, and that's and he's saying like, you know what? I take that L. From my people to make sure the next generation of my people is good. He don't, like he said, I don't give a fuck about what y'all looking at. Like, a lot of people ain't going to get no money off that Jay-Z bag. You got to want it for yourself. Hmm. Let's, before we get up out of here, man, let's give up something for a week. What you think? What? <laughs> Listen. Let's not engage in a machine in a certain way for a week. I ain't going to work. Oh, man. <laughs> Let me see. What can I VTO. do for a week? Hey, that'll be hard. <laughs> hey, that'll be hard. Hey, the VTO that motherfucker is the same week. Oh, I got him out. Oh, no. Nah, but uh, I might stop sipping for a week. Maybe. I don't know. That'll be good for you. You want to stop sipping for a week? Commit, 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 Like, this is an expense that's, that's been budgeted out, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like one of those You ain't got to like, convince us, nigga. He said it's been budgeted out. Hey, I feel like he write his bills and he'd be like, Liquor. All right, this, this is no doubt, no doubt. This is auxiliary funds, no doubt. Like, uh, a drink. Like, might go get a shoe shine. Some, some new gloves, entertainment. Hey, entertainment hey, hey, probably in a different category. Hey, right? fact, nah, I do got to gloves, no. But yeah, nah, I, I, yeah, I, I can put it on the glass. I don't know what I want to give up. It's probably on a multiple drink list too, like social drinking and then on other pages like <laughs> mandatory drinking. Facts. Like, I, I feel good. like it's an Excel sheet. Maybe get, like on, <laughs> maybe get on my get on my nerve drinking. Right. Yeah, 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 type shit. I have to go into the vault for that one. I got I got the 2013 joint in the crib, right? Getting it in, man. We number punch like a motherfucker last night. What do you mean? The Excel. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> well, uh, what you want to give up? I I give up, man. I think that made a lot to him. It's true. No, I don't want to say it like that. Like, <laughs> no, but, but like, it does. It's like that's, that's why my, I said that's I think my... that'll be good for you. Cause yeah. that's that's something that you are used to. Don't say dependent on. I, I was gonna say. Don't that. say that, man. Cause like 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 say two months ago, I I just I just hung it up for fourteen days just to see if I could do it. Like yeah, you know I'm saying see if I was on point. Like. Well, really, really wasn't, really wasn't anything for real. For real. I forgot about it. 
Like, you know, that 15th day came around, I bet you took your ass to the fax. <laughs> bro, I give up peanut butter. That's my that, like that's my liquor. Mm. Right now, mm. I need to go hard. What is my liquor? <laughs> liquor. <laughs> you gotta stop writing your kids for a week. <laughs> uh, I think I could feel. <laughs> I think I think uh, my can handle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she acted pretty good. Let me that's see. Funny. I. I don't know. I don't say you, but uh, I'm just doing my best set. What mean no world to you? How many more? I don't know what I would give up for. She tries, she tries. She would give up that ninja. What's uh, ninja? Ninja grill. Ninja grill? Yeah. I'm supposed to eat there tomorrow. How'd you know that? It's crazy. Uh, I, I don't eat there on a regular basis, but I am supposed to eat there tomorrow. I'm going to give up. Eyelashes. Fuck no. <laughs> I hope that means a lot to you. No. <laughs> My nigga gonna give up my lashes. No, the fuck, I'm not even agreeing to that. No. Ah, lashes. Nigga, <laughs> you're gonna start crying for that one. Pop face. I don't want to give up lashes. Yeah. Uh, that means that means a lot. I'm only gonna think of nothing else, man. I'm only gonna think of nothing else. I'm only gonna think of nothing else. Lashes. You know, do the things off. You know, we were fluttering them things for the, for the, for the, for the, for the gram just earlier. You know what I'm saying? Putting the forehead on the screen. Right. You know what I'm saying? About to be out here. Saudi bogus here for for the for a whole seven days. No. They're like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> Shut up. I actually have my students tell me like, Miss Wells, you look so pretty without your lashes. You look natural. Yeah, listen, said, listen. Uh, so, thanks. Yeah. I feel naked. <laughs> sure, um, so stop hitting on me. What the fuck is you? Hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Hey, you don't never know, man. She's no, like, she, hey, she's I'm like, getting, I'm like, getting the spotless. You look cute with the lashes, too, Miss Wallace, but I just think you, your skin, it looks nice. I like your face without the lashes. Yo, I said, uh-huh, I'm going to wear them tomorrow. Y'all should, should think about something. Y'all want to give up for seven days. What do y'all want to give up? You know what I'm saying? Give up something, man. I need my, I didn't agree to lashes. Just Coming so to the Nah, you did. We, no, we, I didn't. We, we, we agreed for you. We did. We did a little bit. I didn't say that, though. I didn't say I was giving up. Nah, nah, nah. The consensus is the name. It's just it's just wrap. It's eyebrows. You know what I'm saying? I Tune don't in eyebrows. Eyebrows. I don't do eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do eyebrows. I don't do eyebrows. I don't do eyebrows. Tune in next week. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Like, type shit. We're going to see how this go. I'm not um, giving up lashes. Hey, man. Don't be like that, man. <laughs> Shoot, man. Ain't going to put selfies up every day, yo. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got you know, it. Like, like she's going to be the one to change outfits. She's going to be the one to change outfits real quick. Like, and just take a bunch of pictures. Take, yeah, yeah. Yeah, act like. Nah. 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 Read the timestamp. Look at that. No. We about to get up out of here, man. I'm giving up peanut butter. Lee. Man, I give up the drink, man. Well, I'm wait a minute. What's today? Nah, wait, wait, wait. Except for Sunday. Except for Sunday. I can't do Sunday because you know what I'm saying? See? You know what I'm saying? So I can't get, so Sunday I get to wear my lashes then? Only Sunday. Only Sunday is when you going to order the whole bar. She's going to come on with like three pairs of lashes. Like, oh my God. We're going to fall back when she... <laughs> keep blowing the chips out the bowl every time you uh, blink. Shut the fuck up. But uh, uh, man, she gonna give up lashes, man. We're gonna get her to do it. <laughs> man, uh, shout out to Barbecue on the production. Um, you idiot. Oh, I'm not oh, August 25th, of course, man. We have a live podcast and every last Sunday of the month, mm-hmm. Type Shit Sundays. Um, check us out on Instagram, Type Shit Podcast, Facebook, Type Shit Podcast. Um, yeah, man. And mm-hmm. until next time. Get you some type shit gear. Check out Honestly Stated. Absolutely. You can check out. Huh? What you got? You can, just, you can just catch her somewhere random sitting in her car texting probably. Like yes, so party right. Like, oh, that's or, right. Or the community. <laughs> yeah, community. Check, check me out on the community. Um, alternative teaching. Alternative teaching. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Your favorite teacher. Yeah. Also, I am getting ready to start my own. Get serious with my own YouTube channel. Yeah. I will be doing um, manifestation techniques. So if you guys are mm. really want to manifest anything, watch my channel. I'll be having different topics. Slide in my DM and give me um, some things you guys are interested in manifesting. Right, and I'll give y'all some DM. techniques. Okay? Your DM's about to be jam packed. As soon right. as you sit up. Like, like, manifestation. Spiritual manifestation. Oh, no. If you, if you slide in my DM, that's some bullshit, I'm going to block you. 
right. manifested yourself getting blocked. Hey, when we out of here, we'll uh, try to manifest Cut this back. date. Okay. <laughs> I went like a couple of days. Right, right, not a week. Goodbye. Goodbye.